This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Well, if any of you spent any time last week, you know that on my channel on YouTube, Robert Orn, you know that our feature paint job last week was our good friend the Fire Dragon from Arcadia Quest. So, was he worth getting? I mean, is he any good? Does he do anything cool? Does he add to the game? Does he subtract to the game? I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah, you guessed it. Let's go down to the table and take a look. Okay, so what do we get in the box? Well, that's pretty easy. We get a bunch of dragon turn cards, which are always important to have. And also, uh, as you can see, they have they use different types of of minions from both sets, the Inferno and your regular. Um, Arcadia Quest set. You have some rewards, and there's some pretty good ones in here. Some, some cozy mail, uh, stabilizing buckler, charm bracelets. We have our dragon power cards. We also have our level six cards that we can use, which will help uh, give us some good weapons to try to fight this monstrosity. Uh, we also get a PVE card, which is uh, to ground the dragon. And then, of course, we have our cards for our different level dragons. Some, <clears throat> some fire tokens, which are always important to have, especially if you have a fire dragon. We get, of course, we get a new tile, double-sided, as you can see. And what a little treasure tile there, which is kind of neat. And we get our book, which gives us a couple of different scenarios, each on the back here. We have one for uh, Arcadia Quest Inferno, and one for just a regular Arcadia Quest. Uh, another Inferno, another Arcadia Quest. So it gives you all this and tells you how to use the dragon. So th as, as always, a very detailed book. But the main star of our show here is, of course, our fire dragon. And, and how what a beautiful sculpt he was. He was a lot of fun to paint. If you haven't seen it, go check out my YouTube channel, Robert Orn. And you can see me paint him live and walk you through each detail on how to get this bad boy painted. So what do I think of all this? There's only one way to find out. Let's go up top and, and hear what I have to say about Arcadia Quest Fire Dragon. Arcadia Quest the Fire Dragon. Let me tell you something. This was pretty cool. I really like how all these dragons are adding into the game, giving you another dimension of the game, putting more and more things into there to, to really just kind of, while you're going at each other, trying to do certain things, I really enjoy the dragon series that they have been doing and just like a whole lot of lava I really enjoy this I think this is a masterpiece if, if anything I'm looking forward to doing the chaos dragon next um, these dragons are just superb models I mean they are just very well put together as you can see uh, just great sculpts and throwing some paint on them really just brings out and of course just makes what is already a great game a great game I really like this. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. The sculpt's perfect. It adds to the game, makes a difference, and makes it a lot of fun. So, that's it for your old pal Rob. Until next time, I'm Rob Warren. We'll see you Sponsored soon. Sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, videos, and written reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market Online Gaming Superstore. Thousands of games and minis, discount prices, check them out at miniaturemarket.com.